Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month in February, I posted a series of videos regarding the fact that Windows 11 24H2 will not run on some older CPUs. And I'll leave two to three videos in the end screen of this video if you'd like to play catch up. But basically what it was all about is that if the CPU does not support POP CNT, population count, Windows 11 version 24H2 will not boot, which means CPUs that are unsupported and are over 15 years old will mostly be affected. And I said, watch this space. Now go check those videos out if you want more info. But I have been watching this space and some more information has come to light regarding Windows 11 24H2 and compatibility changes. And earlier this week, Microsoft released um, their latest uh, build to the Canarian Dev uh, Insider program, build 26085, where they also released a new Windows Insider build for HLK, which stands for Hardware Lab Kit. And this was spotted by Zeno over on X. And this is an image taken from that post over on X, install Windows HLK Insider Preview. It says the latest Windows Hardware Lab Kit HLK helps you ensure that the drivers in the system you develop are certified as compatible with Windows 10. Now, if you're wondering why that's saying Windows 10, uh, that's a bit outdated. That's a typo. And Microsoft has already um, acknowledged over on X that they are looking at getting that fixed. So that's going to be changed in due course, but that actually should be Windows 11. Now, the reason I mentioned those videos regarding POP C and T is because this HLK Insider Preview Dev Channel Build 26085 ties in with that quite... Um, quite in depth and if you're wondering what HLK is it's a tool used in the Windows hardware compatibility program WHCP which basically is a framework that helps um, hardware vendors and Microsoft partners OEMs and um, manufacturers of different devices obviously that where Windows gets installed on to test and make sure that their hardware and drivers are compatible with Windows 10 and Windows 11 and once obviously the devices are compatible they get the WHQ Labs certification indicating they meet the quality standards. And moving now from version 23H2 to 24H2 later this year, which obviously bumps that version up with the annual feature update, Microsoft, as I've posted previously in those previous videos regarding POP C and T and so on, Microsoft is working on making hardware compatibility changes. And as mentioned in those videos, version 24H2 of Windows 11, there's a good chance that Microsoft will stop supporting old processes that are missing the POP CNT instruction, which stands for population count. So that's where this HLK hardware lab kit and POP CNT tie in. So this is just another confirmation that Microsoft is reading Windows 11 24H2 with slight hardware changes. And as mentioned, there's a very good chance now that um, Windows 11 24H2 um, will not uh, support CPUs that are over 15 years old and those CPUs are most likely going to be affected. Now I must be honest, just on a side note, if you are trying to run Windows 11 on a CPU that is 15, 16, 17 years old, uh, good luck with that. And I say that tongue in cheek because I don't think that's really going to give you a very good user experience. I know you can install Windows 11 on unsupported, more modern half, more modern ha hardware. But when we're looking at 15 years old and more, I think that's pushing it a bit. So to some extent or the other, I can see why Microsoft is making this change. But obviously, as I've seen in the comments regarding those previous videos, um, this has been met with a lot of debate and obviously, obviously negative feedback for a lot of users for obvious reason. But I thought I'd just put it out there, obviously, because now the Windows HLK Insider Preview Dev Channel Ball 26085. And by the way, the Canarian Dev Channel is where Microsoft is testing features for 24H2. So this is where this is all lining up. And um, there's a good chance now that those compatibility changes regarding those older CPUs not supporting POP CNT will come into effect later on this year with the annual update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.